take a look at this great looking 2010 Chevy Camaro. Now, you might be looking at this going, hey, that's a pretty cool looking Camaro, but uh, let me tell you, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> so this car started life as a 2010 Camaro SS uh, with a 6.2 liter LS3 in it. And this car then had an amazing transformation for uh, the Nikki uh, group out of Chicago. This car was built and this was the prototype. This was the twin turbo Nikki stage four SS Camaro. So I mentioned it was started life with a 6.2 liter LS3. Well, that was removed. And in its place is a 427 small block Chevy crate racing engine. And then if that wasn't enough, then it was built with twin turbos, by the way. They're twin precision, 68 millimeter turbos. Um, Nikki approved this design and, it, and believe me, the car sounds, runs, and uh, performs as good as it looks. So, uh, six-speed manual transmission in this car. Uh, it's got a heavy-duty twin-disc clutch in it, of course, to handle all the power. Now, this car, um, while we could not find a dyno sheet, we know that it's in excess of 1,000 horsepower. Um, there's a video out there from when this car was being built. At that time, they were estimating 1,300 horsepower. Um, this car is definitely not, and I repeat, this car is not for the faint of heart. Uh, I think the toughest decision with this car is to whether to uh, treat it strictly as a collector car or to go out and drive the snot out of it. I say you should do both because it is absolutely, it's very drivable, but boy, the power is there. Um, some of the stats I'll be rattling off here in the video, uh, they will be on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com and there you'll be able to see all the specs as well as the still photos of this car as well. So I'll open this up and I'll run through some of the specs on the car for you. So naturally, cosmetically, you can see all of the uh, Nikki touches that are on the car, such as the stripes, the twin turbo uh, hood stripes right there. I love the uh, script in the headrests and in the floor mats. <clears throat> Very nice job cosmetically on this car, let alone the horsepower this thing has. So I'll just run through it real quick. Obviously custom interior, uh, uh, performance wheels, they're an American Racing, they're a special edition. Uh, custom hood uh, with uh, those vents in the hood, by the way, are functional. They do go all the way through and air does and can get in there. <clears throat> uh, it's got um, twin 44 millimeter waste gates, uh, blow off valve, got a bell fabricated inter intercooler all pro heads fast fuel system 65 pound injectors uh, 30 second oil pump uh, flush and guess what the best part is all of this power runs on premium pump gas this thing is absolutely amazing to look at and to drive um, I had the privilege of just taking it around the block so I could say that I drove it and uh, let me tell you You'd want to get to know this car inside and out before you uh, just smash it to the floor because the second you disrespect this car, it might disrespect you. <laughs> so the best part, by the way, this car has a little over 2,000 actual miles on it. So um, if you want a brand, almost brand new, ultra high performance car without spending three, four, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000, <laughs> this car is a no-brainer. Here's a look at the uh, custom wheels. Uh, Four-wheel disc brakes, of course, uh, Brembo. I'll show you the front wheel here as well. Of course, those are uh, slotted and cross-drilled as well. With all that power, you got to make it stop. And the folks that built the car knew that all too well and made sure that they put the appropriate braking on it as well. There's a lot more specs on this car that I can even recite during this video. Um, this car, I guess all I can say to simplify it is not just a pretty face. It's not just high horsepower. There's um, suspension components, um, 
it, it, the car was built top to bottom to handle the power it has. And again, what I like the most about it is that even though it is really high horsepower, it's drivable. You don't have to be a professional driver to drive it. You can get in it and uh, drive it like normal, but if you want to get after it, boy, you better know what you're doing. <laughs> so without further ado, let me pop the hood and we will get this fired up for you. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. All right, she is running. And look at that. All these extra mods and horsepower, no check engine lights or anything like that. Over here, you've got boost gauge, or uh, excuse me, the one in the foreground there is your boost and fuel pressure, and the full complement of uh, factory gauges down here as well. So it's got all the SS goodies from the factory and extra power under the hood. Let's go take a look. And it sounds awesome too, as you can tell. So, again, this is a 427 Chevy Crate racing engine that was installed in the car. Twin turbos. The thing I like about this car is when you look under the hood here, it looks like it came from the factory this way. The professional work that was done, uh, second to none. They did a fantastic job with the plumbing of all those components. And it makes it look like this car was born this way. Very high quality build. He's got custom grill inserts there. Beautiful. Let's go around back and take a listen. Uh, MagnaFlow uh, exhaust I did notice as well. all the still pictures of this car on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com and remember trade-ins are considered as well this is truly a one-of-one -one car folks uh, prototype for Nikki a stage one or excuse me stage four twin turbo don't miss your chance to have this one-of-a-kind car